is Vesper, and I brought my daughter Kylie Ann to record a beginner style instructional flow for anyone who wanted to start yoga while you're at home right now. So I am going to give you a couple of options for vinyasa and for planks. We are a studio that tends to teach a lot of vinyasa, but there's lots of alternatives and modifications you can use. So the first pose we're going to show you is um, our style of yoga tends to be a little down dog heavy, right? And that can get more intensive in the shoulders than people think. So an alternative for down dog would be tabletop. So Kylie, come to your hands and knees, please, and show the tabletop. And so you see her there in the tabletop formation. She is stacked with her shoulders directly over her wrists and her hips directly over her knees. Down dog, you would flip your toes, hinge at the waist, and send your tailbone to the sky. And so there, Kylie is showing you what a down dog would look like. Um, notice that her heels are not touching the mat, and that's okay. Your heels don't have to be flat on the mat in a down dog. What is really important is that you spread your fingertips really wide. You press into the base of your knuckles. Drop your head, release the tension. Slight bend in the knee, and you'll see here, Kylie's keeping one here to protect the hamstrings. So um, whatever modifications you have to do, your down dog might be a little bit longer, or it might feel a little easier if it's a little bit shorter. So take whatever form and shape feels good in your body. No pains. Kylie, can you come to your hands and knees, please? Okay. The last modification we're going to show you is an option for vinyasa because vinyasa flow yoga tends to also be plank heavy. So high plank, low plank. Um, and so that would look like this. Do a plank on your toes. A full high plank would look like this on your toes. And then one thing to keep in mind is no dumping. No dumping into your body. No dumping into your joints and your bones here. Kylie's letting her shoulder blades draw together. Her bones are doing the work. Now she's going to push out of the palms of her hand, push up, up, up into that shoulder, almost creating a little rounding here. And that is firing up. You're letting your muscles do the work instead of your bones. And real tight in the glutes, lift the quads. Um, Kylie, go ahead and bring your knees to the mat. So if you cannot do a toe plank, here is a plank on your knees. This will build core strength. I take a knee plank quite often. My wrists are sometimes a little painful. Um, and again, you have to push up, up, up. No dumping in, long through the body, squeeze the glutes. Really just keep all those muscles working and lifting. How do you push to a tabletop, please? Okay, so some options for sun A. I will show you some different options when we do sun salutation A's. We will do a few at the top of the mat, and we will, <coughs> excuse me, we will um, show you some options for coming into tabletop and pushing to down dog, or just staying in tabletop um, to transition, or maybe even using a child's pose to transition. So lots of options, lots of modifications. You do try a couple different types and a couple different styles of flow, and we'll do them with you here and see what you like best. So Kylie Ann, please come into child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees out as wide as the mat. Tailbone pushes back towards your heels. And rest your head either on the mat or a block. And I'm gonna ask her to take five natural breaths here. And after your fifth natural breath, I want you to start moving into a more rhythmic breath, something we call Ujjayi, which is equal and inhales and exhales through your nose. You would do your first exhale, like you're fogging up a mirror, mouth open, fog up your mouth like you're gonna fog up a mirror. And then keep that same exhale, but close your lips. So big inhale through your nose. 
and then you do that ujjayi exhale like you're going to fog up the mirror but close your mouth push that breath out your nose if you are a four count inhale let your exhale be four counts and i'm going to walk you through about three breaths here so everybody get ready to inhale for four three two one ujjayi exhale three two one inhale three two one exhale three two one one more inhale three two one exhale three two one really nice work Walk your hands to your right side body. Stack your left hand on your right. This will give you a beautiful side body stretch. You're starting to work the spine, get some movement in there, and stretch all the muscles on that side of the body. So keeping your tailbone back toward your heels. Long stretch through your fingertips. Big breath into that left lung. Send the oxygen down the left arm and left leg. One more big breath in, exhale out, breath in, and exhale, walk your hands through center to the opposite side of your body, stack your right hand on your left, keeping your tailbone back toward your heels, long line through that right side body, so we're going to get a big stretch through here. And then maintain that ujjayi breath. It should be rhythmic like ocean waves. Inhale into that right lung. Exhale. Big breath into that right side body. Let the oxygen flow down the arm, down the leg. And exhale. And then one last breath in. And exhale to center. Walking your hands to the middle. You're going to push up to that tabletop position I was showing you earlier. Really, Kylie was demonstrating for us. So, shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over your knees, and we're going to start our cat cows. So, on an inhale, you're going to drop the belly, lift the heart, the head, roll the shoulders open. On the exhale, you're going to round out like a Halloween cat. You're going to drop the tailbone, drop the head, round out, get this beautiful C shape here. Inhale, make a U with your spine, shoulders roll away from the chin, perfect. Exhale, make a C with your spine. Drop that head, release the tension. Good, three more like that, please, Kalina. We always breathe first and then move. And two more, breath in, breath out. And one more. Good. Coming to a neutral spine. Fantastic. Go ahead and hinge at the waist and send your hips to the sky for your first down dog. We're going to pedal our dog here. So bending, straightening, bending, straightening. And you'll take that a few times. This is warming up the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves, telling your muscles this is what we're about to do. All right, inhale, come to both tippy toes, push up, exhale, lower. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, lower. Two more times, please, ma'am, your breath. And one more time. Good. Everybody, spread the fingertips wide, press into the base of the knuckles, drop the head, getting the chest a little closer to the thighs. If you're already fatiguing, come down to your hands and knees. Come to tabletop, pad your knees if necessary, no problem. And we're going to let Kylie take five ujjayi breaths here, starting to wake up her body and warm her spirit. And I'll remind you that um, these are yoga blocks. They're great for every body, not just beginners. And if you don't have yoga blocks at home right now, you can use books, you can use a small stool, anything that you that will kind of support you that's wide and firm. All right, big breath in, drop your head. 
Exhale, look forward, step to the top of the mat. Take as many steps as you need. Good. And you're gonna spread your feet a little wider than normal. And we're gonna take a child, uh, excuse me. We're gonna take a rag doll here, so grab opposite elbows. You're gonna drop your head, put your belly right on your lap. So the big alignment here is just pushing forward, trying to get your hips stacked over your ankles there. So weight towards the balls of your feet. If you're nervous about falling, that's what your blocks are for. And you can put your hands on your blocks. But getting upside down in this position gets us into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest instead of our fight and flight. You can take a forward fold or a bend like this in a chair. You can take it on the ground in that pike position, in that staff pose. You can take it standing up, so anytime you need to change your mood, maybe change um, your stress level, anxiety, take a forward fold. All right, highly in, drop your hands to the mat. Walk your hands to your right side body, and drop your head. Breathing here, still keeping, you notice she's still keeping a soft bend in the knees. We're always trying to protect the body, insert it. One more big breath. Exhale through center to your left side body. And you'll notice we're taking lots of lateral flexions of the spine. A little bit of twisting. And a little bit of hip work here. Big breath in. Exhale to center. Good. So I'm going to show you a halfway lift here. And we're going to show you the wrong and right way to do it. So, um, first, Kylie, just come up, but be, stay rounded out in the shoulder blades. So come up, round out, and yeah. So this is, to, when we tell people a halfway lift, we get this dome shape a lot. Um, that's because this is how we sit in front of computers, in front of phones, that sort of thing all day. What we want you to do is almost feel like you're doing a cow. I don't want you to do a cow, but I almost want you to feel like that. So start extending through the crown of the head, lifting the tailbone and flattening out the back, pulling the shoulder blades together. Thank you, that was beautiful. So for support, you can put your hands on your thighs. You can put your hands on your shins if you're flexible enough in your hamstrings. Just try not to push on your knees here, okay? But it's not necessary that your fingertips reach the mat on a halfway lift or a forward fold for that matter. All right, so this is a beautiful forward fold. Real long in the spine, tailbone to crown, big breath in. Exhale, fold. We're just going to start moving breath to breath here. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep up fingertips to sky. Hold here. We're going to fire up. Instead of letting our skeleton do the work for us, we're going to let our muscles do the work. So press through the ball and the heel of the foot equally. And then lift the kneecaps and the quads. You're going to bring the belly button in and then two inches below the belly button. And then knit in at the base of the rib cage. So you're going to pull that lower rib cage in towards each other. Otherwise, you get rib cage splay, which looks like this. Go ahead and splay out where the rib cage pokes way out, and then tuck it in, pull in, beautiful. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, back down your spine. Look up, get taller through your middle fingers. Exhale, fold. We're gonna do that a few times. Inhale, halfway lift, breath to breath now. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Come up to mountain pose. Scoop up, fingertips to sky. Look up to the future. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose. This time we're going to exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Inhale your hands above your head, biceps by ears. Fire up here. Take those breaths. Start pushing through the ball and the heel of the feet. Lift those quads. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, back down the spine. Perfect. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. 
cross your left foot over, I'm sorry, your right foot over your left. Yeah, beautiful. I'm not used to looking from behind. I was getting my rights and lefts mixed up. Good. Now you're going to open your right side body, flexing the other way to the left. Beautiful. Okay. So again, lateral flexion, just like we did in child's pose, right? And we did a little twisting and flexion in our forward fold in our back doll. And so if you want to get a deeper stretch in this right side body, you actually have to pull longer from the left hand. So pull. Fantastic. One more breath. Exhale to center. Good. Hands to heart center. So option to not cross your feet when you do this. So we're going to do the other side with our feet parallel. So you can cross the feet to get a deeper stretch in that hip, or you can keep feet parallel. So this time, Kylie, arms above your head, fingertips to the sky. Good. And grab your left wrist this time. Yep. Perfect. This time, keep your feet flat, please, ma'am. And open up that left side body by flexing into the right. Beautiful. And then, again, you want a deeper stretch here. What you need to do is lengthen through that right arm, actually. Seems counterintuitive, but it works. Breathing in. Two more breaths. Good. Big breath in. Exhale to center. Hands to heart center. Good. Inhale. Reach up. Fill up with the fingertips. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Good. Bring your hands to the mat. Step back to that tabletop position. Good. We're going to stay here. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. And now we're going to bring the right foot to the right wrist. Good. And we're going to stand up into mountain pose. So bring the left foot in. Yep. To the top of the mat. Good. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose. Good. Exhale, fold. We're going to try that on the other side. Inhale, halfway lift. And bring your hands to the mat. Step back into that tabletop position. Good. So we're going to make our way into mountain from the left side now, from tabletop, to show you the different styles that you can use to modify your practice. So bring your left foot to your left wrist. Good. And bring the right foot to the top of the mat. And that forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Perfect. Mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And hands to the mat. This time, cut in. Step back to that tabletop position. And now we're going to flip the toes and come into down dog. Down dog. Easy. Big breath in. Big breath out. Look forward. Step to the top of the mat. Both feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat. Step back to a knee plank, please. Take a breath in. Keep pushing up out of the shoulder blades. Breath out. Breath in. Flip the toes, down dog. So that's an option that will build core strength. Big breath in. Big breath out. Look forward. Step to the top of the mat. Both feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then hands to the mat for a full plank this time on the toes. We're not going to take a low plank right now. This is a full plank. Big breath in. Big breath out. Push to down dog. So there are some options for you right there. Now we're going to add a chair pose, which starts our sun salutation bees. So big breath in. Exhale, look forward, step forward, both feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So two options, keep the feet parallel or bring the big toes to touch, leaving an inch or two between your heels. So whatever Kylie wants, yep, you're going to bend your knees, pull in at your belly button. Good, lift up, chair pose. Wonderful. So take a slight tuck of the tailbone. We tend to curve, we tend to arch our back, booty out. We want to just give a little tuck there, release some of that pressure out of the low back. Keep the abdominals high. Biceps by ears, look up, breathe here. Good. Holding this will build a lot of strength in those thigh muscles. Big breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, sink a little lower in your hips. Perfect. Big breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
and hands to the mat for a high plank. Tabletop, knee plank, or full plank, your choice. Big breath in, big breath out, push to down dog. Good. Breath in, breath out, look for a step forward, both feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, chair pose. Good. Slight tuck of the tailbone, holding here a few breaths, firing up, using our muscles. You might get a little shaky, you might get a little warm, that's good. Sharp shooting pain's bad. A little warmth and a little shakiness, building muscle, that's good, keep that. Good, big breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank. Tabletop knee or full on your toes. Breath and a half here. Big breath in. Exhale, push back to down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to move that chair pose with one breath. Big breath in. Exhale. Look forward. Step forward. Both feet. Inhale. Halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Chair pose. One breath. Lift up. Reach. Grow. Exhale. Fold. Halfway lift. Flat back. Hands to the mat. High plank. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Down dog. Good. Now moving into warrior ones with your chair pose. First, I'm going to show you on your hands and knees, or Kylie's going to show you. I'm going to tell you. Please come down to your hands and knees carefully, tabletop position. Bring your right foot to your right wrist. Good. Pop up on your left toes, and then flatten your left foot. Notice she's turning your toes out at a 45 degree angle. So you'll be in this position here. Fold the use abdominals in, and lift up, coming into warrior one. So the goal is here to keep that back foot firmly planted on the ground. If you need to shorten your stance to do that, or widen your stance, what's right, whatever's right for your body, do that. We want to try to square the hips to the front of the room, but don't um, torque your back. So just try to square them as much as possible by pulling that right thigh bone, because we're on the right side, into the hip socket. And then watch the alignment of the knee. So, what happens is we tend to let that knee fall into our midline, into our, to our belly button, um, and that's not what you want to do. You want to keep that kneecap lined up over your middle toes. It's very common. It happens to me. My knee wants to fall, and it's easier. So we keep it lined up with our middle toes, and then we just push forward a little bit, knee stacked over the ankle. So big breath in, big breath out. Good. Hands through heart center to the mat. And you're going to step back carefully, drop that left knee, coming into tabletop. Yep. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bring the left foot to the left hand. Warrior one, other side. So pop up on the toes and push them out to the right side. Pull the abdominals and lift up. Warrior one. So, note equal pressure, ball and heel of the foot. Gently squaring the hips, gently. Pulling that left thigh bone back into the hip socket. Front knee stacked over toward your middle toes, pointing toward your middle toes. Knee directly over the ankle, 90 degree angles. Go ahead and bring your hands back down to heart center, please. Pull your shoulder blades in together, good. So you noticed earlier Kylie had her biceps by ears and her shoulders were starting to fatigue. So she took her hands at heart center. Another option would be a low V or hands on hips. Your body, your flow, your practice. Big breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to that tabletop position, please. Nina. So just coming down to hands and knees. And now we're going to do warrior ones from down dog. Flip your toes into the waist. Come into down dog. Big breath in. Right foot to right hand, drop the left foot to the mat, pull in, lift up, plant your feet, root grow, holding here, fire up like you did in your Sun Salutation A with your Tadasana, your mountain pose. So push equally through the balls and heels of the feet, pull in the abdominals, push, lift, 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 grow taller through those middle fingers, big breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat, kind of do a knee plank on this side, please. Big breath in. Breath out, breath in, down dog. On the other side, we'll do a full plank. Breath in, breath out, left foot to left hand, drop the right foot to the mat, 
Warrior one, other side. We're gonna take a few breaths to fire up. Lifting, growing, pulling in at the lower belly button, getting taller through the middle fingers. Big breath in. Hands to the mat, full plank this time on the toes for Kylie. You do what's right for you, breath and a half. Big breath in, and then exhale back to down dog. We're gonna put the chair and the warrior ones together. Kylie's gonna do a full plank. You do what feels good for your body. Big inhale, big exhale. Look forward, step forward, both feet. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Good, chair pose. One breath, lift up, grow taller. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Hands to the mat, high plank, holding a breath and a half. And on your exhale, push back to your down dog. Good. Right foot to right wrist, drop the left foot to the mat. Warrior one, lift and growing. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Hold your plank, breath and a half. And on your last exhale, push back to down dog. On your exhale, bring your left foot to your left hand. Drop your right foot to the mat, growing, reaching. Big breath in, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank, breath in, breath out, and then good, pushing the down dog, good, big breath in, big breath out, we'll do that one more time, keep trying, keep going, you can do it, on your exhale, look forward, step forward, both feet, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, chair pose, bending the knees, dropping the high knees, Tuck the tailbone, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Hands to the mat. High plank, holding the breath and a half. Leaving out the low plank. And just pushing to down dog on your exhale. Bring your right foot to your right hand. Drop your left foot to the mat. Lifting up the warrior one. Exhale, back down to the mat. High plank, holding the breath and a half. And pushing back to down dog, big breath in. Big breath out, bring your left foot to your left hand, coming into warrior one, other side, lift, reach, grow. Exhale, flow, hands to the mat. Hold your breath in half. And then push to down dog. Go ahead and come down to your hands and knees. Good, take four cat cows, please. And come to a neutral spine. Bring your knees out wide, big toes to touch. Come into a child's pose. Breathing here. We'll take a couple stretches here. We got you hopefully a little bit of heat building. We are moving rather quickly for some salutation B. So this pose right here is a restorative pose. You take it whenever you need it. Kylie Ann, will you thread your right arm under your body, moving your left arm out wide? I'm going to show you some stretches you can do here in the center. And then we're going to do a couple grounding poses, a balance pose, and then pull down. So about three to five breaths here. Depending on the length of your breath. And when you're ready, cutting in thread the other side. So at any time, if you can't get your head to the mat or the ground, that's what your blocks are for. You can also use a really firm bolster. Couple more breaths. And then unwind your body. Push to that tabletop position, please. Good, and then flip your toes. Hinge into down dog. Beautiful. We're going to work through those grounding poses. And then we'll do the balance and then we'll pull down. So just a little bit more. Maybe about 20 more minutes, 25 more minutes. Big breath in. Good, bring your right foot to your right wrist, drop your left foot to the mat. Lift up, warrior one. And now we're gonna open out to warrior two. Good. So again here, watch this knee. I'm gonna duck down here so you can see me. This knee's gonna wanna fall in toward your center line. Keep it open toward your middle toes, track it. And then keep the knee lined up over the ankle. This is warrior two. Breathing here. 
And from here, we are gonna go into an extended side angle modified. So you're gonna reach through your right fingertips and you're gonna bring your right elbow to your right knee. And then this arm can go wherever it needs to go for you. This is a beautiful, powerful pose. You can also bring your bicep by your ear. But if this is too much strain on your neck, turn your head to neutral if you want. And you can just bring this hand, bend at the elbow, bring it to your hip. So whatever feels good to you. Breathing here. Good, big breath in. Push up, arms out to a T. Good. Coming into triangle pose, now we're gonna carefully straighten that leg very carefully. Soft bend if you need to protect the hamstring if you're super tight. The other thing you can do is just step that back foot in a little bit so that your stance is closer. But notice Kylie's hips are towards you, um, but her, her arm, her front arm, and her head is toward the front of her body. Front toes facing the front of the mat. Back toes facing out to the side, good. Coming into triangle pose here, <laughs> she's ready. She's gonna reach through her right fingertips, but I'm gonna show you from a block you know how to use your blocks to help you. Again, a book, like a large fat book, or a little stool if you have a child or grandchild at home. You can put that hand there. Kylie's gonna bring the arm down to her hip today. And then just be careful of this neck. If anything hurts, just bring it straight out in front of the body, your, your head facing the front, so that you keep that long line in your spine. You're gonna breathe here about three to five breaths. And then what you're gonna do is bend that front knee to push up to warrior two. It will help you. It will also protect your hamstrings. Good. And we're gonna take a wide leg forward fold. So Kylie, turn all your toes to the front of the camera, please. So you'll be facing sideways on your mat now. Just look down, make sure your feet are even. Always take a minute to check your alignment. Put your hands in your back pockets and you're gonna squeeze your elbows together to protect your neck. I'm gonna have you lift up and back, again, opening that spine up, opening the heart, but be careful not to dump into your neck. People tend to lead with their head. I don't want you to do that. I want you to lead with your heart, heart first. Keep the spine in a line, big breath in. Exhale, fold. Good, drop your hands to the mat, breathe here. Walk your hands through your feet, if you can. Now, Kylie's hands can reach the mat, but if she couldn't, we would grab the blocks. They're right there, right next to us. Breathing in. Drop your head, release the tension. Good, walk your hands to center. Good. Walk your hands to your left ankle. Drop your head. And breathe here, just stretch. Good, and when you're ready, drop your hands and then walk them through center to your right ankle. Drop your head, release the tension. So I'm actually gonna flip Kylie around on her mat so that she stays facing the camera, but you all are gonna go back to the way that you came from. So I am going to bring her hands to center and at home, I want you to turn your right foot to the front of your mat. Kylie's gonna turn her left. Bend your right knee, plant your hands, and then you can step back to tabletop, knee plank, or high plank. And then flip your toes and come into down dog. Good, big breath in, big breath out. Take a minute, get recentered here. Make sure you're pressing through the base of your knuckles. Big breath in, left foot to left hand, drop the right foot to the mat. We're traveling through warrior one into warrior two on the left side. Nice work keeping up with my opposite cues, Kylie, thank you. So again, look down at your knee. Is it tracking over your middle toes? Breathing here. Now, reaching through the left fingertips, bringing the left elbow to the left knee. And then options for the right arm can stay straight up in the air. You can go bicep by your ear. And Kylie's lucky because she has someone to help her travel her blocks today. But for you, you just grab your block and take it with you or reach down. It might be at the top of your mat already. When you're ready, big breath in. 
push up, warrior two. And here's where we're gonna go into triangle. So slowly, carefully straighten that left knee. Good. Bringing your block to the front of your foot. You're gonna reach through your fingertips and then your hand down to the block, the stool, the book, whatever you have for you. And this time she's choosing to keep that arm up in the air. And breathing here about three to five breaths. And when you're getting ready to come out of this, you're gonna bend that left knee. Push up, warrior two, that will help you. Good, coming into our wide leg forward fold here. Turning all the toes to the side of the mat. Good, taking a bind behind you by clasping your hands, just like that, palm to palm, except behind you. You can also go ahead and stick your hands in your back pockets again. Lifting up from the heart, watch that neck, don't dump your head back. And then exhale, fold. Hands to the mat when you're ready. Good, taking our first stretch by walking our hands through our feet, drop your head. And this time, Kylie, we're gonna take a little twist, but I'm gonna have the block here so that they can see how to use it. So you're gonna walk your hands out from between your feet, directly out in front of your nose. You're gonna plant your right hand on the block and lift halfway up, just lift. Don't turn your body, just push up out of that right hand. And then when you're ready, open that left side body. Coming into a little twist like this. Breathing here. Again, options for arms. If this is fatiguing, put your hand at heart center or your hand on your hip. Couple more breaths. And we're gonna take that on the other side. So when you're ready, left hand to the block. Lips halfway up first. Get that flat back. Remember, tailbone up, head straight out. You almost want to get that cow feeling. I do not want you to you, but I want you to reach and extend that way. And when you've got a nice long line, right side opens. Breathing here, three to five breaths. And these poses are really good to ground your body, make you feel like you have stability and substance um, in you in these times that we're going through right now. And then big breath in, exhale, fold. And then just drop your head, drop your hands. So I'm going to move Kylie back to her um, first side of the mat. So for her, she's going to turn her right foot forward, but I believe you all will need to turn your left foot forward this time. Bend that knee, bring your hands to the mat, and then step back either into tabletop knee plank or a full plank and then down dog good big breath in big breath out big breath in exhale look forward step forward to the top of the mat both feet inhale halfway lift flat back exhale fold mountain pose hands to heart center close your eyes three breaths here Big breath in, and blink your eyes open. And Kylie, will you make your way to the center, please? We're gonna take two balance poses here, if we have time for that, which I think we do, we do. All right, so we're gonna take a tree pose, and we're gonna take an eagle pose here. So, for tree, I'm, she's going to do a kickstand position for you first. So you're gonna root your right foot, all right? That's gonna stay planted. The left foot is gonna come into a kickstand, so, on your toes or the ball of your foot if that's what hits the mat and with your heel at your ankle. Um, I do not want you to dump into your hips. So Kylie's gonna dump in and show you how she's letting her bones, her joints do the work here. Now she's gonna lift, pull up on those hip muscles, draw in abdominally, good. And hands at heart center, breathe here, three breaths. Big breath in, I want you to reach up, fill up, send your branches to the sky. One more big inhale. Exhale, bring your feet side by side, parallel, give a little shimmy.
this time we're going to do tree on the other side. She's going to lift, and then you all can decide which option you want to do for you. So the left foot is going to root. The right foot is going to come to her calf or her thigh, as long as you're not pushing on the kneecap. So if you want to reach down there and get that foot to the thigh, be my guest once you feel super stable. A couple few breaths. Then you'll let your branches grow and flow. Breathe in here, look up. Beautiful. Big breath in, grow longer, go stronger. Exhale, both feet down. Good, give a little shimmy. And then coming into an eagle, we're gonna show you uh, a left side eagle in a kickstand first, and then we'll show you right. So we're gonna go the other way this time. Left foot is gonna root, we'll bend into both knees. Bring your right foot over, but kickstand, just like you did in treat, except your legs are crossed. Okay, so if your right leg is over, your right arm is under, I want you to take a hug. Please, ma'am, yep, a hug, right arm under. Mm -hmm. Perfect, breathing. And so what happens here is we tend to want to straighten this leg, yeah, because it's easier, but I want you to stay bent, bend in the knee, trying to keep the hips and shoulders stacked, nice alignment here. After about three to five breaths, gonna exhale, unwind, and give a little shimmy. <laughs> so we're gonna do that eagle pose on the other side, so your right foot is gonna root. But this time, when Kylie brings her left leg over, deep bend in the right knee, she's going to wrap and tuck her toes. Now you could wrap the leg, but not tuck the toes, or you can wrap and tuck either one. And then her left leg is over, so her left arm is going to come under in a twist this time. Yep, perfect. And then once you get there, just make sure your elbows come up, same height as your shoulders. And after about your third or fifth breath, you're going to unwind and give a little shimmy. Probably was done with that. All right, big breath in, reach up, fill up. Good, hands to heart center. Kylie, go ahead and move to the back of the mat, please. So we're done with our balance series. We're going to take a couple locust poses and we're going to do our cool down. We are almost done. Have about 12 more minutes. Stay with me. You can do it. I know you can. So big breath in, reach up, fill up. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. And then walk out to a high point and push to down dog. Or tabletop to down dog. Three plank to down dog. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, hinge forward to high plank. Carefully lower your knees. I'm going to show them this pose. Yeah. And we're going to lower all the way to our belly, coming into belly shavasana. Elbows staying by the rib cage. Beautiful. And hands down by your side. Breathing here. So this is a real pose in yoga. It's called belly shavasana, and it's not napping. People think it is. We're going to do a couple more powerful poses, and then we're going to go into our stretches. So chin to neutral, please. Highly in. Beautiful. We're going to take a locust pose. So for beginners, we'll take two locusts. You can choose to do head, heart, and feet lifting with your hips grounded. Kylie, do you mind showing them that now? Thank you. Squeezing those thumb tips or pinkies up over your tailbone. Go ahead and lower. Or you can just do the front half of your body, keeping your feet grounded, and then go ahead and lower. And at the second part, do the feet lifted on the second locus and keeping the heart grounded, and then lower. So if you wanna do half the body on the first one and half the body on the second one, please be my guest. If you want to do heart, head, and feet all at once, like Kylie's gonna do now, be my guest. So the first thing I want you to do is pull your belly button in, and inhale, lift the heart, head, feet, keeping those abdominals tight. And so the idea here is like get long, head to toe, about three more breaths. Trying to keep that breath high in the upper register so you don't drop. Good, one more big inhale, grow longer, get stronger. Exhale, lower, left cheek on the mat. And if you'll rock your hips carefully from side to side here, little sacrum rock. It'll help release some of those long spine muscles, some of those muscles around the hips. Good, big breath in. Exhale, chin to neutral. Pull the abdominals tight. And 
then big breath into that upper register, lifting the heart, the head, the feet, the hands. Squeezing the thumbs or pinkies up over your tailbone. Good, two more breaths. Getting longer, getting stronger on each inhale. One more big breath. Exhale, lower. This time, Kylie Ann, bend in the knees, please, and a slow windshield wiper of the feet. So slow and low, like there's a trickle, not a rainstorm. as a transition pose. We're going to tuck the elbows directly under the shoulders. I keep saying we. Kylie's doing all the work. Good. Once she gets here, she's going to tuck her glutes and send her tailbone pointed toward her heels a little bit. It'll take a little pressure out of the back. And equal pressure from the elbow to the palm of the hand. Roll the shoulders away and down from the ears. Close your eyes. Three more breaths. side out this time. Big breath in. And then push to your hands and knees, bringing your tailbone back to your heels in a hero's pose, sitting up. Breathe in here. Two more breaths. And we're going to go into our final stretches, so just roll over on the hip bone, sending your feet to the top of the mat. Coming into the staff pose, um, an L sit or a pike if you're older like me and you remember what a pike was from cheerleading and gymnastics and ballet and all those types of things. So find your sits bones first, right? What I don't want to happen is this rounding out of the body where the tailbone goes that way, tops of the hip kind of come back and you round out. Instead, find those sits bones lifting up high. So. The sits bones and the tail bones would actually come toward the back of the mat, tops of the hip bones toward the front, lifting, growing, really tall, roll your shoulders up to your ears, back down your spine, beautiful inhale, reach up, fill up, exhale, fold, think heart first, heart first, heart first, your fingertips do not have to reach your toes, if they reach your knees or your shins, that's where you are today and that's okay, keep coming to yoga, breathing here. Now for all bodies, it takes us about 72 seconds to release and relax into a stretch. Usually that's about, for me, about 12 breaths. Um, usually around 10 to 15 breaths is one minute long. So if you want to stay that 72 seconds to get that release and that relaxation, it's going to depend on how deep your breath is. I would recommend going at least 15 breaths and then Taking a big inhale, Kylie now, and exhale and see if you can sink down into that pose just a little bit further. Big breath in. Good, and carefully roll up. Beautiful, bring your right leg in, left leg out, coming into a seated tree. Sit up tall, big breath, reach up, fill up with the fingertips, and then exhale, heart first, heart first. Drop the head, breathe here. Now, if you are like Kylie and you are extra long and stretchy and you can reach your toes, the other thing you can do with a block is go a little deeper. So you can bring this block to the base of your foot and reach for the edges of the block to keep that spine elongated and keep that reach long. So, lots of options. I'm going to take your block now. <laughs> a few more breaths. Uh, big breath in and carefully roll up and switching legs so right leg goes out long left leg comes in seated tree if this hurts you right here you can always put a rolled up towel or a block under that knee some people have a hard time with that open hip position those inner adductors um, it really strains them or it strains the hip area 
So whatever you need to do to lift and protect and bolster yourself. So big inhale, reach up for love. And exhale, fold. Breathe in here. Again, about 10 breaths. One more, <laughs> one more fold, one more stretch after this before we make our way to the ground and do a couple stretches there as well. Big breath in, exhale, and then carefully roll up. Good. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Good. Coming into a bound angle stretch here. So option to have the heels closer to your tailbone like that, or you can push your feet away if you need a little relief. Have a wider diamond or a skinnier diamond. It's completely up to you. I made her sleepy. So bring your heels into your tailbone. Good, inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, grab your big toes and lead heart first. You can do either, you can stretch your arms out or grab your big toes. She's ready for her Shavasana. And again, about 10 to 15 breaths here. And if ever you're watching a video that I do and you want to hold a pose a little bit longer or come out of it earlier, please do that. Your body, your flow, your practice. Couple more breaths. Good. Good breath in. Exhale, relax and lift. And then inhale, carefully roll up. You're going to flatten the feet, bring the knees together, and roll to your back. Yeah, your long self, you might need to move a little. There you go. Just roll to your back. Big stretch like you just woke up. Roll the wrists, roll the ankles. You can send your feet down now, probably, too. Roll them four or five times one way, and then roll them four or five times the other way. Beautiful. All right, we are going to take a supine twist and then a supported waterfall and go into Shavasana. So right knee comes into your arm or armpit. Go all the way to your left side body. Take your right arm with it at first. Support the knee. If you have a pillow or a bolster, a block, a book, a little stool, if the stool is too high, don't use that. You might hurt yourself, but find what's comfortable for you is my point. Support the leg, then you can open that right shoulder. Now, if your right shoulder and your right arm does not quite reach the floor or the mat, um, just bend at the elbow and put your fingertips on your rib cage if you get any discomfort from that. If you're okay with the stretch, keep that. But some people might experience a little tingling of the fingertips here. Five more breaths. so you can support the knee, I won't get in the way, and then you can open that left arm out. Good. So I'm just giving Kylie a little bit of length in her spine. Hopefully you can come to one of my classes one day and I can give that to you. A little extra stretch, a little extra love keeping the knee supported. And again, if this is comfortable for you with the arm outstretched, please keep that. And if it's not, bend at the elbow, bringing the fingertips to the rib cage or the hips so that you can keep your circulation nice. A few more breaths here. Big breath in. Exhale to center. You're gonna bend the knees. You're gonna have your block close and you're gonna put this block up under your sacrum. It's a little triangle bone at the top of your hips and gently rest your hips on it. 
to come into a supported waterfall. Um, if it feels pinchy, <laughs> move the block. So people are all shaped differently, including our skeletons. So we need to move the block up or down to make sure you're on that nice flat bone at the top of your hips. If you can't put your hips down, your block is way too far up. So make sure it feels good to you. And when you're ready, tuck your knees into your chest and then feet straight up to the sky. Supported waterfall, close your eyes, about 10 breaths here. This position is good for your mood, for stress, anxiety, for sleep. This is the number one position they recommend for sleep. Better sleep, that is. About five more breaths. If it hurts to be on the block, just have your spine flat on the mat or on the floor. You can also put your feet up against a wall for support. Two more breaths. Good, big breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your feet so you can move the block. Good, and we're gonna come into full Shavasana now. So feet down at the far corners of the mat, backs to the hands on the floor, palms up. Close your eyes. And at any time, if your mind starts to worry or wander, I want you to come back to that breath. Equal inhales and exhales. And tell yourself, I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. Rest your body. Stay here in Shavasana as long as you want to. And stay safe. Stay well, everybody. And I can't wait to see you in West Little Rock Yoga Studio again. Um, Shanti. Namaste.